working on sprint workouts, just a sprint warm up uh, to warm up your hamstrings. Actually, I'm in warm up, more so of just activate. So Jay's in the middle of the season here. We're going to go through some RDLs and some stuff for his hamstrings, just keeping them primed and activated. Uh, what we're doing here is we have our weighted here, 235s, but we have a light bar. It's a spinning bar. Um, it's pretty much just going to help him get in his positions. And we have wedges down here to kind of elevate his heel off the ground to put him in prime yes. position. All right, it's not very high, but it's going to put him on the ball of his foot. So being on the ball of his foot, it's going to help him put him in uh, the prime position for him to sprint. Uh, we don't really run on our heels. We don't run too much on our toes, but we do use the ball of our feet. All right, so let's go ahead and pull this up for us. <sighs> nice, getting deep flexion, yep. So I'm going to nice. lift this up yep. and focus on just pushing my hips outward and then leaning down slowly, getting that full range, nice. coming up quick. And also, too, just keep a constant activation of your glutes, even uh, eccentric and activating it, too. Nice, yes, sir. Let's get 10 there. We're going to three sets of 10 there. Yes, sir. Roll that left ankle out. So push out on that knee. Just like push this? out on it, right? So don't let it roll in. Kind of push out on that knee here. Put in force, too, to the outsides of your hips. Yes, sir. Good reps. Yep. <laughs> nice. The coolest part about this exercise, though, is like most of the time we think hamstrings are skipped in certain situations, but posterior chain does a lot for you, right? Your glutes to your hamstrings do a lot, and people are either front side quad dominant or back side posterior dominant. So being posterior dominant plays very well with sprinting and being very athletic. Quad dominance is deceleration and stationary movements. Uh, so just a matter of knowing what you are dominant wise and knowing what to work on uh, for sure. All right, let's superset this. All right, let's get on your back. All right, so we're gonna work on our hamstrings. Again, we're going to superset these two. Uh, we're going to use the band here. We're going to allow Jay to support himself with a hamstring contraction. So the hamstring will be in a contracted position here. Let's go ahead and hire that right knee up. All right. Now lift your hips off the ground. All right. He lifting the hips off the ground, he's using his posterior chain, his hamstrings in this space here. We're going to get a nice cycle of that right leg and then connect and contact the um, band. And then we're going to duplicate that on the left, too. So it's the slow. Nice. There you go. Nice and slow. Reps for you. Nice and slow. Yep. And try to get your hips higher. Yep. Trying to get that full range of motion. Simulating when I run. Nice. And to okie dope this, too, right? You can't really see too well from this position, but you can see that his knee is not bent. So the... If the ground was here where he's making contact, this is simulating him standing upright in a sprinting position, making contact with the ground. Now, if you wanted to work other parts of your hamstring, this will be more up to the glute, deep uh, hamstring tendon. You can bend your knees and come a little closer and you'll get closer more behind your knee, working more of your start to your transition phase or shorter uh, stride length. Uh, we're good there, we'll do three sets with okay. that as well. Um, we're gonna do 10 each leg. Um, so we can go back to our RDLs, and we're just going to repeat that, too, for the next two sets. And we'll get that roll. Yeah. For instance, like, if we're talking about running, you have aerobic exercises, something you can do over a longer period of time. And you have aerobic exercises, or anaerobic exercises would be, like, a shorter period of time. So if you're worried about sprint endurance, you want to increase how much or how long you can run at your anaerobic system. That's the baby system where you're running. Let's go about to throw up after. Dang, 22. 222. 222. All right, let me tell you about me. I ran 20.6. <laughs> ran 20.6. I ran 1021. <laughs> I played in the NFL for seven years. I didn't even choose track. Track's a poor man's sport. Don't take the track. 
I made a lot more money playing football running track than on the field. I'm going to make more money in track than he made in football. Watch this. I'll, I'll take that bet. As a coach, too, like, yeah, I, I challenge him to that. Okay. I challenge him to that. I actually Let's make it. That. I would love that. If anything, I would love for you to accomplish that. I'm going to be honest. That's humbly speaking, passing the torch. So. Right here. So I'm going to try to go for 10 seconds, actually nine seconds. <laughs> How was that? Hey, that's what you got to do sometime. Yes. You got to go out of control to find your control. Like, to do a lot to learn your where you are, where you stand. So, like, going to full speed, going fast is good. But at the same time, when you're running, you want to be in control but also out of control. So, all sprinting is is a chaotic movement that you have rhythm and control with. So. I'm going to show you what that fast twitch looked like. <laughs> that real lightning speed. Oh, oh shit. Yep. Wait, wait, wait. I'm going to do another up. retake. Up, down, right? yeah, I'm going to lift a bit higher, too. Tight, wait, I'm going to get some water before I do it again. <laughs> Watch this. I'm going to go ham on it. <laughs> I'm going to show you all what that fast twitch looked like when you unlock. That beast in you. That's it though. That's it though. And the speed sucks. Crazy. You know the vibes. Working. So you thought I was tugging you down? Alright, now when it tugs you down, you gotta catch that wave back up. Now go up slightly. Alright, now come back down, come back down. Alright, now go back up. Back down. The faster you go up, the faster it goes back down. There go up. Right, now push into the balls of your feet still. Alright. Nice. Yeah. So use the band to help you support yourself all the way down and then push up. Just simulating like a block start for yourself. Right? So the more you go, the more it's going to be a block start behind the balls of your feet. There you go. Alright. Right. Let's go 10 just like that now. Quick. Let's go. Keep going. You can keep going. Next one. Come on, come on, come on. What's the next now, one? Now, when you push up, push through this left foot up and drive your right knee forward. Wait. So it'll be an up. Uh, up. You about to die? You about to die already? Come on. This right I here. I just want to make sure I'm doing it right. You will. So what you're going to do is you're going to go down. You're going to go down and then you're up. Single leg. So when you go back down now, you're going to come down, so it'll be a down to an up. Down to an up. Right. Be gentle, too, because you're just working through the motion. It doesn't have to be real fast. It doesn't have to be forceful. These are just full range of motion. All right, work through full range of motion, creating strength in those lower depths and pushing through using your glutes and also activating the hip flexor strength as in you're applying this to running, right? So when you're running, I like a single leg, not double leg like this. So applying single leg gives you uh, usefulness for a track. Back down, get ready, come back down, keep going. Alright, we do band. Alright, so let's go left leg down, right knee up. There you go. Like that? Back down, yep. Yep, now catch the weight back down too. Just like the double leg, but this time. 
Yeah, it's like when I, by the time I'm yep, already up, pretty, it's already going down. Yep, so you got to lower yourself back down. Think about when you're running. Click, 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 click. So when you're on your way up, you got to bring your way back down just so you can keep them cycling running too. All right? So pushing through your glute and just finding that rhythm is going to help you through this. Okay. Find your rhythm. All right, ready? Push it up. You don't have to go up as high. All right? Just remember that. You just want to push through some depths, and just isolate a single leg. Ready, go, let's go. Right here. That's it, push. Yep. Oh, shit. That's it. You need to quickly go out here. That's like, it's... That exercise, like, it sneaks up on you. <laughs> like, you don't really feel it uh -uh. until you feel it, you know? Correct. This is no joke. This may look easy, <laughs> but... It's the eccentric down that you're contracting on the way up because it's pulling you down as you're trying to come up. That's, like, the hard part that no one's understanding. So, like, Oops. at that depth... One leg at a time or two legs? Let's go two legs. Let's go ten to one. That's horsepower right there. <laughs> All right, be gentle with this one so you don't move the block. Ready, go. On your We don't have heel contact, so working, doing lifts that put your foot in position and create strength without having heel contact. So with the wedge, we can apply force straight down to the ball of the foot and not through your heel, all right, and also still have stability. So let's go ahead and put your right foot to the front one. All right, let's pick that left dumbbell, right dumbbell up in your left one. You can squat down here and get it, but I really want you to squat down, pick those up, and take it straight back up. So see your butt can we move that right one closer? To, like way? left, so I, yeah. this feels like I'm not straight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, we're gonna go straight down in this position here. We're gonna fire our glutes and push ourselves back up. We got five of. Nice. There you go. Back up. Let's move this left one back a little bit.
Because Hammy be trying to play games, man. Indeed. It's just like, so where I heard it is like, well, it's because. You, gotta shift this you see that? Yeah, right here. there. We gotta I see it. We gotta shift it up. It be trying to play. Well, it's so strong that it's probably doing the glute's job. So, in this position here, you gotta find your glute. It throws me off and now. And fire it, yeah. you know? So, go ahead and do it with no weight, and you're just firing yourself, too. You can also switch yourself to a band. You can't stay stable. And I can, it's just. Yeah. I just gotta, like, trick it. Yeah, you do. So, right now, yeah, turn that on. Yeah, and then go straight up with that, yep. That's almost something you should do on a daily, even between reps, when you feel yourself. Like oh, so basically lean back. Yeah, lean back and bring yourself down. That's how you get your glute in. And if you need more space, move that left foot back. Further. My hip. Move that left foot back further. I need to still work on that. Cause I don't want it to tweak again. So go straight down and push up with your glute. Which hip? Left. Yeah, straight down with your glute, back up with that right hip. See. Where do you feel that? Front is that hip right here? Right here. That's actually probably a good thing. <laughs> See. Uh, straight up with that. You feel that? Four. I feel it. I like the pop into it, right? So I, I, I like how Jay's putting the pop into it, the pop up. The pop up is just simulation two. It's Five. Like power. So the weights actually do the same thing because you have to fight that resistance. But if you can explode from that depth, you've been feeling the applied force. You have to do your exercises as if a sprinter would. You can't do these Olympic lifts without adding your own sprinter touch to it. I see when it, when it comes to mind training because you have to build that muscle memory to be explosive. <laughs> ah. Yeah, take that band down with you. Uh, so I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hold your feet up and go down. You can go down if you need to. See how you feel before we um. Wait. Let me get my knee on. Yeah. Ooh yeah. I also need that band too in front of me. I may not need it. It's a good feeling. It's a good feeling. It should feel activated. <laughs> <laughs>